All right, now I'm going to show you a sample standing traction setup for large posterior thoracic translated postures with decreased pelvic tilt and probably some loss of lower lumbar curvature. For this one, we're going to first lock her in right across the hip joints. So we'll have her hold that right there. We'll hook this belt. Whoops. Let's hook this belt up right here and right here. And with this one, I'm going to first tighten it down a little bit, just like that. And then we'll tighten it using the ratchet winch. I'm going to go up just one, one level. Right there. And we got that tight. All right, so now we've got our pelvis locked in with this first belt tightened down right across her anterior hip joints. Secondly, we want to take the non-adjustable neoprene covered strap. We're going to place this right behind her and under her arms and have her hold that right there. And we want that pretty much right into the, oh, the mid to lower thoracic region. We're going to bring out Bring out some slack from the ratchet winch, put, engage that, just like that, and then we'll tighten that. Tighten that just a little bit, and then we need one more. For this one, we're gonna let her, let go of that one now, that should stay, and I'm gonna place one right across her shoulders just like that and ask her to hold those right in place there this one will raise our back slide we'll hook that up We'll get that in place. Now, for this setup, we're going to use a large traction block. Place that right back here to really try to translate her whole thoracic spine forward. And then we'll simply lower that. I'm going to slide that around a little bit, just like that. This will simply hold her in place. There's not a lot, very much tension on this one. The main tension. is on this one, the front one. And we want to pull our whole thoracic spine into an anterior translation, just keeping the shoulders secured. The sho this belt also helps to pull the shoulder joints posterior to help stretch out the pectoral muscles. And we just tighten that to the patient tolerance, whatever they can, they can tolerate. And that's a setup for your posterior thoracic translation with decreased pelvic tilt and usually somewhat increased uh, kyphosis uh, through the thoracic spine. Now, we do have available, this does not come with the unit, this is an accessory that can be purchased to go with the standing unit, but for the setup that I just showed you for the a posterior thoracic translation, some patients will complain with the strap coming across their lower neck area that it, that it in, inhibits their breathing. And so to, to be able to uh, avoid that, we do have what's called our four-way belt. To use this one, we simply place the unit across the patient with the, the V section pointing downward. One section will go under their arms. I'll hook up this side first. And then we'll hook up this side. And we can just hook the D-rings right in there. All four of these belts are adjustable. 
so that we can tighten the top. Turn that around and I can tighten the bottom up as we need. Right there, right there. And then with this sex unit, we can now hold her back in there. Using the four-way belt, again, to help still retract the shoulders, pull the shoulder joints backward, but we avoid having the strap across the, across the lower throat with the four-way belt. And again, the, the neoprene should be pulled over so that the neoprene offers the padding onto the shoulder joints itself. Just like that, we can bring them up under the arm a little more too so that we've got the neoprene acting as the pad rather than the strap for. And that's the use for the four-way belt.